I hated Buffalo for a long time. Let me preface it with that. I hated Buffalo. Um, I went to Sweet Home High School. I grew up in the suburbs, so I kind of had, like, this weird identity crisis thing growing up for a long time. Then I went to Buff State. Then I had, like, this whole culture shock thing for a phase. And then I think when I started going to Buff State, I realized, wow, oh, there's people like me that do all different type of things. So that opened my mind. And then um, it took some adjustment. But I, I the thing I'm proud of myself about when I was going through that adjustment is that, like, I kept riding. Like, I remember there was this friend, and he was just like, Keep, do internships. So I was interning at the public newspaper. I don't know if you guys know that yeah. newspaper. Um, I don't know if they're around still, but... Um, Shout out to Corey Perla. He would just let me write about local artists and stuff. And it just started to, I didn't even, now looking back, it's like I was primed to kind of like do this a little bit because the things I were doing were always revolved around entertainment, music, and culture. Like everything I was doing. And then I wrote for WNY Muslims for a little bit and interned there. Um, but I kind of got off the topic. But <laughs> all of that basically is a culmination of what I'm doing now. But thank you for the legend comment. <laughs> it's not it's a, a comment, little, it's a statement. It's, I, I appreciate it. Um, I definitely feel like so many great things are happening, and I'm excited to see where I'm going to go, but I'm I'm really focused on really um, developing myself more. Like, I see what I'm doing, and I see that's great, but to be honest, I feel like I can even do better if I become even more disciplined. So I'm excited to see that right now people are catching on. So I, I know once I really get the resources to do what I want to do, it's, it's going to be great. What first kind of made you realize the scene here in Buffalo? I would have to say it was actually a photographer, Ryan Kell. I hope I'm saying your name right. Shout out to him. I wrote about him for Queen City. Shout out to Queen City. They gave me a lot of confidence. Um, they're one of the first um, publications that well, not one of the first, but a super important publication to me that I got to write for. They're a, a woman-ran webzine. Um, but I basically covered Ryan Keller, photographer, who was putting on really cool photographer events. And um, I went to one of them. I saw dancers, rappers, artists there, downtown Buffalo. Um, it was at the, what's like the hotel slash apartment with the coffee shop downtown? Do you know what, Matthew? I'm it's really like on the tip of my geography. tongue. <laughs> <laughs> same, I'm yeah. same. But um, I went to one of his shows and I just saw the thriving community there, and I was just like, "Man, this is amazing." So I remember that being a super big moment where I was just like, "Whoa!" And it just it just happened gradually. I really can't remember that that one moment, but I would say Ryan Kell's event. I think he moved to New York City now. He's doing big things, but he was putting on like photography events for like uh, every other month for like a year or two and that really like ignited my flame for like looking out for buffalo rappers and musicians and stuff it's just it's a sense of community you know what i mean knowing that someone that's super talented and it gives you a push it lets you know that these amazing people come from where you are so don't be ashamed of where you're from and that was my thing is that i was so ashamed to be from and you have to understand too to kind of give a backstory. My dad is from the Bronx. My mother is from uh, Mount Vernon, New Rochelle area. So they come from this. They come from New York City, basically, which is full of rich culture and, if I'm being super honest, like rich black culture and stuff. So growing up in the suburbs, and me and I see my dad scratching, and and my dad is like, he's super integral to the um, hip hop community and in um, New York because he, he came up when, like, African Mambada was relevant. Like, he saw Grandmaster Flash scratch. Like, he was super, he used to, they, him and his brothers, because he's the oldest of seven, um, they were called the D, DTC crew, I think. They would go in different boroughs, and my dad would be scratching. So he literally is part of, like, hip-hop, that, that birth of hip-hop. And so coming, him telling me stories and stuff and being so excited and then, you know, <laughs> I'm in Amherst or West Seneca. It's like, okay, two different worlds. So when I looked at New York City, I looked at it as like Atlantis, like it was this amazing world. Um, so, yeah, but again, growing up and then going to college and seeing all these talented people, um, different backgrounds, different cultures, different races, all coming together and working together. That got me excited. And then knowing that they were doing amazing things outside of Buffalo, but they're from Buffalo, 
you know, they were nurtured by Buffalo just gave me a sense of pride. And I, and I think that's what, I, at the end of the day, I think that's the main thing I'm trying to do at Buffalo Cole. Yeah. And people want to feel pride about where they're from and stuff like that. That's literally why I started because, <laughs> as I said, I hated Buffalo for such a long time. So when I realized that there were these amazing artists in Buffalo, I'm like, yo, I wish I had this when I was younger to connect to. So it's like now I'm making, and I think that's what everybody in their art, you make what like you lacked when you were younger, like you go for what you lacked or whatever. So that it's really like a pleasure to like do what I do because I love that. I was just telling someone I love making cool, fun videos or little clips or whatever to highlight this artist or this artist because it just shows. And I think one thing that stands out with sneak vibing, if I do say so myself, is that I really want to focus on the diversity of Buffalo. So everyone, like, and show, like, all the different textures and sounds and vibes we have. So I would say that's one thing that I, I pride myself with sneak vibing on. But it's it's so much fun for me. 